three, two, one, zero, zero, and lift off. What's up, Internet? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part one of this look at the soda line and some of the rare sort of braille pieces that I have in my collection. You may have seen all of these figures individually or you may own pieces of them, but I want to showcase some of the rare, harder to find figures. And they're truly grails to me because you just can't find some of these box sets in really good condition. And they're just amazing figures from one of the best lines that's ever been released. And of course, I have some of the loose ones displayed up here. This isn't all of the loose figures I have. They're just the ones I've put up. And with Jada recently releasing their line, I think it's important for people to see that Jada has some big shoes to fill. And there's a line that's been done of these characters that was, in my opinion, masterfully done for the time and for the price. This line defines attention to detail. It defines what it means to really give it your all and put everything you can into a line and into figures. That said, let's jump into it. So I'm going to briefly discuss each of these to avoid making a really long video, but here is Faye Long. Of course, all of these figures came with the appropriate amount of accessories, hands, heads, and you know, just different weapons or whatever was pertinent to the character. The attention to detail with this line was just excellent and hasn't been matched in my opinion. One of my favorite things about Street Fighter overall is that they include characters from all over the world and what's special about the packaging with this to me is that they show the different flags from where each one of the characters is from and I think that that's really really cool and we need more lines like this. Next, we have Goken, and this one is really cool because it has the Comic-Con exclusive sticker on the packaging, and I think that that just adds so much to the Menton card aspect of this figure. This character is cool. The fist flame effect is awesome, and of course, the packaging overall, the card has exclusive written on it, so that makes this figure really, really awesome. And I also have the other variant loose, and I think I have the other variant on card as well. I can't remember if that one was also a Comic-Con exclusive. Next, we have Sagat, and this is probably one of the best Sagats. Not that there's many out there, but again, the attention to detail with the scar in his chest, the wraps around the hands and wrists, the alternate heads, this figure is just special. And they're all that way, but some of them do stand out, and this is one of the standouts. If you don't have the Storm Collectibles one, but you have this one, I think that this one is a good stand-in. The SHF one really ruined that line for me. I was going to jump into the SHF line, but when I saw that Sagat, I said, you know, I, I just... It just ruined it. I think that Sagat is such a pivotal character and to ruin him with the height and some of the other issues that figure had, I just couldn't do it. So if you have this one and don't have the SHF or don't have the Storm, I think that this one is a good one to have in the collection. Can't wait to see what Jada does. So here we go again. Comes with the alternate head for martial arts hands. So one thing I will note, and you can kind of see it in the sculpt here, the skin tone sometimes on the figures was a bit crude, and you could kind of see that the finish of the plastic is a bit rough on some of them, especially once Soda sold the company. But again, I still think the sculpt is there. And this is the back of the packaging where we have the fighters from this round, 
Again, Gan from Hong Kong, uh, Don from Thailand, Guy and Balrog from the U.S., and Sakura from Japan. Next, we have M. Bison or Vega. And this is probably one of my favorites from the whole line, if not my favorite, depending on the day. I absolutely love the figure overall. I like the cloth cape. And the sculpt again is just amazing on this guy and the paint. And I think I just like the character. It's just an awesome character. The hands are really, really big, but I think they're proportionate to the actual figure. And this figure is just one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. And here is the back of the packaging with the fighters from round one. So here we go with T-Hawk. T-Hawk is probably one of the cooler characters across all properties to me. I think that we don't, or at least to me, it doesn't feel like there's too many really cool sort of Mexican characters out there, but T-Hawk is one of them. I think overall, like, he just looks awesome. I love his build and his wardrobe. It's really, like, native-inspired. The character is just amazing to me. And this figure in particular, I think, is one of the better ones from the Soda line overall. I mean, the sculpt on this guy is incredible throughout, and everything on him is just awesome. Like, if you see one of my other Soda videos where I show this figure off in a bit more detail, like, this figure is amazing from head to toe. So here we have some of the other fighters. Ken from the U.S., Cami from the U.K., Vega from Spain and Blanca from Brazil. So here we go with probably one of the rarest two packs, I think, in existence across all action figure lines, and that is the Ryu Sagat Blood Variant 2 pack. And as you can see, this was a Toy Fair exclusive, and I love these because they each have the price on them. As you can see, this was $15.99 for this Blood Variant 2-pack, and I believe this one has a $14.99 price tag on it. For the price, you get just pure excellence, especially for the time. Like, this 2-pack was cool because you got two highly desired characters from a really seminal moment in Street Fighter lore, and this thing is just cool, just awesome, and that is why I have two. I absolutely love, love this two-pack. If I can pick up another one to open, I'm going to. I don't believe I have one of these open, but super amazing. Love, love, love this set. So here we go with Sakura. And Sakura is probably a really good example of the level of attention to detail with this line, in particular with the accessories. As you can see, we get three hands, the alternate head, two books, her loose shoe, and probably one of the best, if not the best, 112 backpacks I've seen, sculpted, painted, and just the overall detail on accessories and the figure itself, just amazing. And although she's a female character, no shortcuts were taken. Looking at you, Hasbro. And here we go with Ken. Again, alternate head, multiple hands, great sculpt, and the punching effect. And here is the back of the card. And here we go with Vega. Vega, another one of those figures that was really well done. From the mask to the rose he comes with, the alternate head, just simply fantastic. The snake tattoo is pretty good. It's not the best. It's not as good as the guile tattoo, but still done well enough, I think. And just the overall figure is amazing. Like it comes with the hand to hold the rose and another alternate hand. And the paint on this guy is awesome. I love this green variant. Also have the purple variant. Just a dope figure. Here we go with Saddam. Again, another great example of awesome accessories. The fan he comes with. He also comes with this hat that has like this cloth hanging from it that makes him look really, really cool. And the moon or the crescent and the two weapons that he comes with. Also, the sculpt on this guy is pretty, pretty good. 
So here we are with Guile, and Guile to me is one of those figures from this line that was done as perfectly as you can possibly get with an action figure, especially for this time. If you can see the sculpt on the hair, the hands, all over the body was just absolutely excellent. And the paint, the camo and the pants, the American flag tattoo on his left bicep is absolutely stellar. Like you can't get a better tattoo on an action figure today. And this guy is just amazing. And not to mention, he also came with his sonic boom effects. The thumbs up hand is pretty cool. And of course, the hand with the comb in it, simply fantastic. And did I mention the dog tags, which are realistic? They're metal. They're not plastic or stuck to the body like we get from Hasbro today. But just absolutely outstanding. One of my favorite figures overall. And this variant is spectacular. Like the pants, the camo on this guy, simply fantastic. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all of my subscribers. I promise I'm going to try to upload more frequently. If you enjoyed part one, check out part two. Stay tuned for more. Take it easy. Peace. Discovery, go and throttle.